welcome to this video. So since we've been in quarantine, I've seen quite a few people try to force a glow up and basically they spend the day taking care of themselves, practicing self-care. So I thought I'd give it a go too. And I thought what better time to do it than after exams are over. Before we get started, I do want to say that with everything going on in the world at the moment, I urge you to take an active role in what's going on, sign the petitions and educate yourself, educate people around you and do the best you can to partake in this movement. I will leave some links in the description. I'm just going to start my pamper morning slash day of self-care by having a shower, washing my hair. But before I do that, I'm going to pick out a cute little outfit for me to wear when I come out of the shower. And this is what we're working with. So I think I'm going to go for this with a black t-shirt underneath and, and now I'm going to pick up my trousers. I might go with just a pair of denim shorts. Yeah. For my outfit I am wearing a pair of denim shorts, a black t-shirt and a striped shirt. And for the shirt I have tucked in one side so it's like half tucked in, half not tucked in and it's still open. I just think having it half tucked in just gives it a bit more character and makes the outfit a little bit more interesting. I'm also wearing this black belt and I am going to put this bracelet on as well. So since I chopped off my hair, the natural waves and curls have really come out a lot more. So what I do is I scrunch my hair up with some gel and that just makes the curls keep a bit longer and it just makes them a little bit more structured. Uh, I'm using this gel. Um, I don't really think it's a, a brand. It's called Miss Sandy. And to be honest, I hate doing this because I hate the feeling of gel. I don't like feeling sticky at all. So I try not to do it too much because I don't want my hair to be frizzy. And I always struggle with the back side of my hair. For some reason, it never wants to curl. So I have to give it a little bit more attention. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, obviously. We want both sides of my hair to be the same. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna let it air dry, which is what I normally do. I have really, really dry eyes and I get really bad dry skin near my eyelashes. So what I have to do is wash the dry skin off um, as well as like any other dirt that's in there for whatever reason. And for this, I just use a cotton pad and some eye products. So this is a foam. When I'm in England, I use a different one. Um, it's not foam, it's more of a liquidy sort of substance. But here in Greece, I couldn't get that. So this was the next best thing. I always expect it to sting because it like smells like eucalyptus or something. And I expect it to sting, but it doesn't at all. Um, I'm just gonna get another pad for my other eyelid. One more thing I want to do before I move on to skincare is pluck my eyebrows. I've purposely been growing them out and I haven't done anything to them for like a month just so that I could do it in this video. So you're welcome. Um, and for this step, as well as skincare, I want to clip my hair out the way. So I'm going to try and clip it in like a place that is not going to make the shape of my hair weird. Before I start plucking my eyebrows, I go over them with a wet cotton pad just to make sure I've got the shape that I want. I find it a lot easier to do my right eye, so I always start from the left one just to make sure they're as even as possible. No one actually really hurt. I'm not even exaggerating. So 
So I fancy doing a face mask and I'm going to be using this pure clay soothing mask. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Um, I was showing it in the mirror but surely that's going to be reversed. The face mask that I'm going to be using today is this L'Oreal Pure Clay Soothing Mask and I do really find that it brings down the redness in my skin. I hate that my ears are on show but I am the worst at putting face mask on my nose. So I believe this is enough for now. <laughs> I might paint my nails while I'm waiting for it to dry. So we're now gonna move on to some creams and stuff. I absolutely hate creams with a passion. But it's an essential part in me like taking care of my skin and stuff. Obviously this is not a skincare channel. I am not the right person for skincare advice. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I put on my face. What I do with my skin does actually help me keep my face clear. So I've been using these products for at least a few months each. As soon as I find like creams that work for me, I don't really want to switch up my routine that much. Once again, yeah, I'm not a skincare expert and this is not a skincare channel. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not the right person to give you advice, but if you would like to see skincare content, then you should definitely check out my friend Mateo. He is a skincare YouTuber. He's like, he's literally, skincare queen and you should definitely go check out his channel if you want glowing skin um, and his videos are actually really entertaining so I definitely recommend it. Um, so I'm going to start off with this um, and this is vitamin A cream. I actually got this from the pharmacy. I use it because I get like eczema on my eyelids and I've got some coming up at the moment so I want to sort it out before it gets too bad. So I'm just going to put a little bit on and rub it on the problematic areas which is like literally here. I really hate doing this but it does really help. Next up again because I have really dry skin and I actually have dry patches on my face I use this cream um, it's called Epiderm cream. Well my mum got it for me off of Amazon and to start with I really didn't believe in it and I was like this isn't gonna work but I decided to give it a go because my mum ordered it for me without me really knowing and it just kind of turned up at my house one day and I was like I didn't order this and it turns out my mum got it for me and I was like I didn't really believe in it but I must admit it has helped my skin but my nose gets extremely dry so I'm gonna put something on my nose But yeah, I just put that here, just in the center. And I get, I get awful dry skin. This is literally me just like telling you where I get dry skin. I get really bad dry skin in my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna put some over my eyebrows and rub it in. Um, and this does tend to help here. And I also get it on this side over here. Um, but yeah, I try not to put this on all of my face, no reason in particular, um, well, <laughs> to be honest, the reason I just put it in specific areas is so that I can also put moisturiser on top, uh, but yeah, I don't know, I feel like that isn't on moisturiser, like it does, like it helps, um, the areas that are very dry, but I do like to put a moisturiser on as well, and once again, because my skin is very dry, I use this Bioten rich moisturizing cream it is literally one euro 30. again i don't i don't like putting on too much during the day i just put a little bit and then i'll put it on at night before i go to bed and finally i also put it on my neck as well she also needs to stay moisturized and she is often neglected i absolutely hate doing this but 
future me will thank me. And then the final step is to put some sun cream on. Um, it is summer after all. There's actually only one sun cream that I will put on my face um, and that's Hawaiian Tropic. And the reason for this is because to this day, it is the only, and I mean only, sun cream that doesn't break me out, doesn't make my skin even more dry. It's meant to be hydrating and yeah, I find it works best for me on my face and it is SPF 30 and the sun cream actually smells so good. It feels very light, which I think is why I like it. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, then I'm going to my eyebrows. And yeah. I should also do my hair. Yeah, we can unclip it now. To be honest, it's not as curly as I thought it would be. I think I put too much gel on this morning. And... So, the body cream that I'm going to be using is called The Ritual of Karma. Round two. Uh, my sticky. Uh. So I am now going to spend the rest of the day doing things that I enjoy and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!